Now you're probably wondering, hey Priscilla, what is your opinion on buying cheap alcohol-based markers? Now I have done a couple like little demonstration videos, tutorials, arts, tips, and tricks using different cheap alcohol-based markers. Because let's face it, we, if we go and we start investing in Copic markers, we're investing a lot of money because if you go to Michael's, they're about $8 a marker. These are called the Ohuhu markers. I have done a video on them before. I love these markers called the Ohuhu markers. And you can buy them on Amazon. This is the $60, I mean not the $60, the 60 pack for $30. So you can get 60 colors. You just saw all those colors that you get. You can get 60 of those colors for only $30 which is an awesome deal, and they are such amazing quality. Look at all the skin tones that they have. I just, I was kind of going crazy with Vanellope and Ralph. Now, the thing with Vanellope and Ralph, I chose them because I wanted to do so. I'm so excited for Wreck-It Ralph too. Ralph breaks the internet because I, I just, that movie looks awesome, and I'm really in love with the first movie. It used to be a comfort movie for me and I would watch it all the time just to get happy because I love Wreck-It Ralph so much. It's so creative and it's got all the games that I grew up playing in my life. Now, the oh let's go back to the Ohuhu markers. Now, not only are the Ohuhu markers an alternative to Copic markers or Prismacolor markers or um, I've, I've even seen a couple of the alcohol-based markers at Michael's. There is also another brand, and we're going to get to that brand in a second because we're going to use that brand to color in Ralph. Now, I love the Ohu markers just because they don't have a brush tip nib where they have like, it's a nice flowy tip similar to the Copic markers if you've ever used a Copic mar marker before. I've met some artists who don't even like using brush tip nibs just because it's just not a preference for them or it's just hard to work with. The Ohuhu markers is a great alternative because they have a nice fine chisel tip at one end and then they have a really fine tip on the other end. So if you are a huge chisel tip nib fan artist and you prefer using that blocky end to your marker, then this marker is for you. But the fine tip nib is what I love most about the Ohuhu markers. Now you're probably thinking this is sponsored. It's not sponsored. I just wanted to give you two, two alternatives to alcohol-based markers as opposed to going out and spending, um, I once spent $120 on 20 Copic markers once. Maybe. I think that's how what it got to. It might have been more than 20. I don't know. I don't do math. But anyways, there are, are alternatives to Copic markers. I know there, there are the refillable bits and pieces to the markers, but I, I don't know. I just, I don't, if I'm out of a color, honestly, this is not efficient. It's not efficient for me to wait around and wait for a refillable piece to my color and to refill my Copic marker. Cause usually if I'm run out of a marker, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit and I need to replace that marker. But now that I have two sets of different alcohol-based markers, I'm okay when it comes to running out of a certain color of combing markers since I invested in these two brands. But they're all equal, they're all equal in quality when it comes to the alcohol-based markers. But here's the thing, by the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you what is my favorite. Is it the Ohuhu or the master markers that you're see you're going to see me use on Ralph in a second? I, but look at these colors all over Vanellope. They're just bright. They blend in well with each other. They're, they're doing exactly what I want them to do. And I just, I love them. I absolutely adore them. These are the master markers. Now for the master markers on Amazon, you can I bought mine off of Amazon, you can get a 24 color pack for $29.96 on Amazon. I bought two packages. So I bought the typical like primary colors that I needed. They were just yeah, the primary tones and then I went in and I bought a second package which was 
liked was the landscape tones because I sell more greens and blues and I usually use a lot of greens and blues so I went ahead and I bought both of those packages. So you're looking at about, what, $60 for both of those? Now here's the thing, I've had these master markers since maybe the beginning of May and I actually brought them in to um, my class, my cartoon art class that I teach in real life and I actually let them use it. So a ton of these kids used a bunch of these markers and they did full pieces of artwork using them. Now they last a long time. I cannot honestly tell you if I've had a package of Ohuhu markers for a long time. Uh, my first package, the 80 colors that I bought for my first video, I went ahead and I just gave them to my boyfriend because he was looking to practice with alcohol-based markers. So I just went ahead and gave him my first set. Now I don't know how much he uses those, but he still has them and that was back in... I believe January or February is when I first got my Ohuhu markers, my first set. But I'm hoping to go ahead and keep these Ohuhu markers so I can comfortably tell you how long the Ohuhu markers last. It does seem like the master markers do last a long time. Now with the master markers, you have the brush tip nib. So you have the brush tip end and you also have the chisel tip end. Now I said it once before already at the beginning of this video, it is a preference to the artist on what they like to use when it comes to their alcohol-based markers. Maybe you have no idea what you like, what you prefer to use, what kind of nibs. Maybe you should purchase, I know that uh, Ohuhu Markers offers lower packages, so I think it goes like 20 markers, 40 markers, or I know that 60 markers was a reasonable price for $30 and it came with a lot of awesome colors and I went, yeah, of course I'm going to buy these $60, but maybe you would like branch out and maybe buy the 24 pack of primary tones and master markers and the Yohuhu markers, that way you have a different, like, variety of chisel tip or fine tip end or brush tip end. I mean. It, they're good markers to invest in and they do work well with each other. I used, I didn't have a really dark brown for Ralph's overall piece. So I went ahead and I grabbed my dark brown out of my Ohuhu set and they blended in very well, which I was very surprised. I mean, alcohol base means they're usually going to blend in with each other well. Now, the thing about the master markers that I didn't really prefer or I don't know if it was just a bad batch of markers and I said this in my master markers review is that the brush tip nib on the master markers it gets a little flaky now I don't I don't really understand that because usually with Copic markers it it's some kind of sponge and it stays together but I don't know what the material is that's on the brush tip nib because it gets a little flaky and it gets a little I don't know I mean it's similar to a paintbrush, you know how sometimes some hairs go in the different directions and that's what was happening with this master marker but it was like a sponge going in different directions. It, it's kind of weird and I don't know if I just got a bad batch or if you guys have master markers leave in the comments down below if you have experienced, experienced this kind of default with your master markers before or if it's just something I just um, I'm not used to, <laughs> I'd leave in the comments down below if you have that kind of a problem with them. So here comes the moment of truth. Priscilla, which marker should I buy? Just tell me right now. And once again, this is not a sponsored video. I just prefer them over the other brand. And if you honestly want to go ahead and you want to try a cheap alcohol-based marker brand, I'm going to tell you to go with Ohuhu markers. I love them. They're really great quality. You get a ton of colors for a super cheap price. And when I say they're good quality, they're as almost good quality as Copic markers. And I like master markers. I like the effect that they have. Like, look at Ralph's skin. It looks like it's a watercolor picture. I love the way that they blend in with each other. I love the effect of alcohol based blending that the master markers have. I just don't really like what happens to the brush tip nib because I am a brush tip nib person and I like using it and I don't know what's going on there and when it gets all flaky it's like I can't get fine details. I can get fine details with my Ohuhu markers. Now I want to hear from you. If you have either of these brands leave in the comments down below which brand do you prefer? Is it the master markers or the Ohuhu markers? Or which one are you going to buy if you want to try out one of these alternative brands? Leave in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Hope this was helpful and I hope you all have a most wonderful day. Bye!